With approximately 125 types of engines produced worldwide, it's hard to imagine any one of them stealing the limelight. That is, until SpaceX introduced their latest marvel, the Raptor 3 engine. But hold on, because there's an even more mind-blowing variant of this powerhouse, called the Raptor vacuum engine. This technological marvel has emerged as an almost inconceivable feat of engineering. In fact, the specifications of SpaceX's new Raptor vacuum engine will leave you in awe. Join us as we delve into the incredible world of this revolutionary engine and discover what makes it so special. Let's begin. Imagine the Raptor engine, but specifically designed for the vacuum of space. This space version of the Raptor engines, which are used for liftoff from Earth under the Super Heavy booster, features a larger nozzle and operates more efficiently in the vacuum environment. The Raptor vacuum engine is like a powerful steering wheel, guiding the Starship smoothly through the depths of space. Its incredible capabilities lie in its ability to generate higher specific impulses, which measure how much movement is achieved from each unit of fuel used. In a full duration test conducted in September 2020 at SpaceX's development facility in McGregor, Texas, the Raptor vacuum engine demonstrated optimized performance in the vacuum environment, achieving a specific impulse of approximately 380 seconds. To put this into perspective, the best Russian engine, the RD-180, has a specific impulse of around 338 seconds, while Blue Origin's B4 is expected to have a specific impulse of around 311 seconds. By utilizing an efficient combustion cycle and the same methane and oxygen propellant combination as SpaceX, the Raptor vacuum engine outshines its counterparts, converting propellant into thrust with exceptional efficiency. This allows for higher speeds and longer duration missions with the same amount of fuel. Compared to its predecessors, the Raptor vacuum engine has been meticulously optimized for power and suitability in the vacuum environment. It surpasses not only Raptor 1 and Raptor 2, but even the recently announced Raptor 3 by Elon Musk. Furthermore, with SpaceX's remarkable development capabilities and the advancements made with the Raptor 3 engine, there is potential for further upgrades to achieve an even higher specific impulse, possibly reaching an impressive 400 seconds. One notable feature that sets the Raptor vacuum engine apart is its expansion ratio. This crucial aspect greatly influences the engine's overall performance. Below the throat of the combustion chamber, where the narrow part of the essential hourglass light curve lies, SpaceX has expanded the Raptor's existing bell nozzle by a factor of five or more. This expansion enhances the engine's efficiency and propellant conversion, making it a true engineering marvel. Now, let's focus on the nozzle itself the largest and most prominent part of a rocket engine. The nozzle channels the flow of exhaust gas, which originates in the combustion chamber where oxidizer and propellant combust. The gas is then accelerated through a narrow opening called the throat, reaching supersonic speeds. As the exhaust enters the nozzle, it expands, and the longer and wider the nozzle, the faster the exhaust moves. Faster gas exiting the engine means more thrust, enabling the rocket to lift more mass. Therefore, an expanded nozzle translates to improved performance. However, there's a catch. Flow separation, a phenomenon where the gas flow inside the engine separates from the nozzle walls, poses a challenge. This separation can lead to turbulence and vibrations, and in extreme cases, it could even cause the engine to fail catastrophically. Designing an optimal nozzle involves finding the delicate balance between expansion ratio and the risk of flow separation. It requires careful engineering to create a nozzle that maximizes performance without compromising the engine's stability and safety. We should know that SpaceX's Starship employs a combination of sea-level Raptors and vacuum-optimized Raptor engines to propel it to orbit and navigate the vacuum of space efficiently. The expansion ratio of the Raptor vacuum engine, reaching an impressive 107, plays a vital role in extracting maximum performance from the exhaust gases. The design and optimization of rocket nozzles are crucial for achieving higher thrust and overall engine efficiency while mitigating the risks associated with flow separation. 
let's delve into the manufacturing technique employed for Raptor nozzles, which showcases an innovative approach. Copper sheets and Inconel, a high temperature alloy, play a significant role. The process begins with a copper sheet, from which channels are machined to create the desired shape. This copper sheet is then sandwiched between two Inconel sheets, forming the channel walls. This manufacturing approach departs from the laborious process of individually arranging and welding numerous pipes together, which was common in older engine designs with regeneratively cooled nozzles. The use of copper and Inconel provides a robust and efficient solution for constructing the RapVac nozzle. While we don't have a wealth of information about the Raptor vacuum engine, what we do know is that it's a modified version of the C-level Raptor engines. As Elon Musk continues to tweak and upgrade the Raptors, the Raptor vacuum will undoubtedly benefit from his genius. However, we have yet to witness it in action. Starship 25 eagerly awaits its rendezvous with the Raptor vacuum, which might take place by the end of the summer if Elon keeps his word. Imagining them soaring into the sky and parting ways gracefully is truly an exhilarating thought. That concludes our thrilling journey into the remarkable progress at SpaceX and the awe-inspiring power of the Raptor 3 vacuum engine. Stay tuned for more exciting developments in the world of space exploration. So, what potential advancements and groundbreaking missions do you envision with the extraordinary capabilities of the Raptor vacuum engine in the vacuum of space? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.